Hey everyone, Jerry here from Geek Culture and today we'll be checking out the Rokit Max AR glasses. Rokit has been making AR glasses since about 2018 and they haven't really gone out of China that much until now. Um, we've seen this pair of glasses out on the internet quite a bit. Some people have gotten it as well, YouTubers have gotten it. But today we'll be checking out pairing the Rokit Max together with the new Rokit Station. Usually people pair this Rokit Max together with a, um, I would say, Nintendo Switch, your computer, your laptop. But this Rokit Station itself is an Android TV and you can connect the glasses directly to it. I've never seen this um, or tried it yet. Let's go and give this a shot and see how it actually goes. Let's open up the content, start with the Rokit Max first to see what is inside. Oh, this is a very hard case in itself. Uh, the guys have tried this out a bit. Um, this is my first time, so you guys are going to experience it the same way. Oh, it actually looks like there's a bit of uh, it's a case that goes covered. Oh, okay, here we go. So you can see that this is something that goes on top of it, likely to black out everything to give you more immersion. You've got speakers here and buttons as well. Um, we'll see what these actually do. There are adjustable nose pads and a cable here for your, it looks like USB-C to plug your devices in. That's pretty much it. Uh, let me put it on to see how it feels like. Oh, it's not too heavy. Uh, standing from the team behind here, Zaki is, is, is about 75 uh, grams. Does it really uh, hold up over time? I think it's all right uh, initially. It's not too heavy as well, just like wearing a bit of uh, like, you know, ugly glasses or sunglasses. Wrap around, but I think you look, I look a lot more docky right now, right? I can't see if anyone's looking at me. So as long as you don't, you're not so self-conscious, I don't think it really matters. Let's see if I open it up. Man, I can see it's like, yeah. <laughs> Frozone from the Incredibles. <laughs> Where is my super suit? Where's my super suit? Where's my super suit? my super suit. I think it's not too bad. Uh, pretty, pretty nifty. The real style of the show, because the Rokit Max has been out for quite some time, is the Rokit Station. So this is a portable uh, Android TV device. My understanding here, you can have about five hours of, um, of battery life using this while watching your shows. And it also doubles up as a portable charger. What? 5,000 mAh uh, over here, you can see. Jackie did ask me if this was proprietary or you can hook it up to your own TV. From what I know, and this is China, they are all things goes, man. They are all friendly with everyone. I'm pretty sure if we were to try, it could work out as well. I've just powered on. You don't really see much happening. This is, look, it feels like a dial or controls. Um, home, going to the app button itself, selectors. And this might be the volume button. Let's give this a shot and see how it actually all puts it together. I'm going to go into the box here and pick out some of the stuff to see what we have inside. HDMI, uh, Type-C, most likely for charging. And this looks like to be the instruction manual. Let's put this one side. Let's take out the HDMI. So what we have here is a mini HDMI. We have not seen this in quite some time. Usually it's like USB-C to USB-C. It goes to the bottom. From what I can tell, it should come with fast charging because it doesn't make sense. I mean, five hours is like... What? If you're traveling on a plane and you you hate the, the entertainment system on the plane, you take this out and then you've got your own personal entertainment system. Android TV, so you got to figure out with the Wi-Fi. So are you able to get any uh, files onto this or any movies into this? Might be a tricky prospect. Whoa! Wow. I'm very surprised. It's very sharp. This uses Sony Micro OLEDs. How do you get even OLED into this, into this, uh, this, this size here? And they're claiming that this goes up to 600 nits brightness. Um, there is a button toggle here. The brightness you can't really toggle. There are six levels of brightness. I'm describing as my best to you. And it's a single button. It goes down and then it goes back up to maximum as well. Uh, on the right here, I was controlling earlier, you can control the volume. There are 10 levels here that you go through or you can also control the volume through the Rokit Max station. Frankly speaking, because this is the new boy, I'm still more amazed by this but Rokit has given their own, I would say, ecosystem of devices to actually make sure this actually works well. As anyone who has owned an Android TV looking at the actual Android TV UI itself, uh, I've got YouTube here. Okay, I've got to figure this out. <laughs> 
I feel like an old person here. I've got to try my best to really describe to you. Uh, if you're on Android TV, you can see you've got apps at the, the, the menus here is apps at the side. We've got your play next, you've got recommended, and then you've got all your tiles in the middle. The screen is not like uh, it follows you or anything. You see, what you see is what you get. You're having a monitor right in front of you. Think about it that way. From what I can tell, right, this would be great because you guys who might be watching uh, a TV in your bedroom, maybe you want something more personal. This might be it. Uh, you don't have to put a tablet in front of you and you're watching it. And if you fall asleep, you, the tablet will fall in your face. You can finally use two hands. <laughs> yeah, you can finally use two hands for activities. Extra <laughs> If you're juggling between this and looking at the screen here, I think there might be a bit of trickiness. You need to play this like a game console controller. Eventually, once you know where all the buttons are, it should be pretty straightforward. But otherwise, this is a dial that goes left and right, up and down, uh, pretty much straightforward. And the middle dial is your confirmation button. Uh, see, I'm trying my best to figure this out. Is this the back button? Yes, that's the back button. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Uh, the shading here, oh, I can see Zeki and the screen here. It is still pretty dim. The, the screen itself, what I'm seeing, is quite bright. And it takes up most of the screen. I got to really look in the corner here to really see Zeki in front of me. Uh, let's go to my favorite scene. I'm going to Thor Ragnarok, favorite show. We always use it for our TV reviews. Guys, go check that out. Zeki, can, Zeki says he can see what I'm looking yeah. at. But yeah. can you hear the audio? No. Okay, it's very personable then. There's there's no compromise in terms of the audio itself. Oh, I'm easy, I'm 50%. Let me bring it up to 100%. A bit closer. There we go. I hope you're not hit by DMCA. And I can really hear the audio going from left and right as well. There's so there's stereo into this. The quality is frankly quite amazing. Let's go check out the Google Play Store. And uh, what do we have? We have Prime Video, uh, Disney Plus, ITE, I think HBO is in as well. Rakuten is all in. Uh, but I do know that right now, um, Netflix is not available on this. From what I understand from the folks at Rokit, they are applying for Netflix to be on this platform itself, which is very surprising because it's Android, right? And Android TV, it should be all in, all in the same place. But as I move my head around, everything looks sharp. I'm not feeling motion sickness in any way. It's all really very good. And pretty much, I think most of your streaming services are all supported. Okay, mindful that um, looking at this device here, there's no like SD card slot. So you might need to definitely figure out how you're going to get internet in the air if you want to use this on the go. Unlikely that might be the case, honestly. So you might be tethered to the ground and to a Wi-Fi network. It's going to be tricky because when we tried to put this together, the idea here was to figure out if how we're going to actually capture the, the feed itself. But you really have to try and you guys have to trust me that this is a legitimate device. Because most AR devices, right, or you can see, I think the issue with most uh, VR, AR devices these days is that this thing that you strap onto your face is very heavy. This Rokit ecosystem has helped uh, elevate a lot of those issues. So we could use it on a phone, but that doesn't really mean pretty much anything. The true test will be to plug it into our ROG Ally. Come on, Zeki, hand it to me, and I'll give you some thoughts about it. But before that, let's go to today's sponsor. If you're looking for a laptop that has both power and portability, look no further than the ASUS ZenBook 14X OLED. It features a large 70 watt hour battery and stunning nano edge 14.5 inch 2.8K 120Hz OLED foldable display, powered by the latest 13th gen Intel Core i9 CPU and RTX 3050 GPU. All packed in a thin 16.9mm chassis that only weighs 1.5kg, so you can stay focused at work or play. For more information, check out ASUS.com. Right now, we have me playing a Metal Slug and this is insane, the level of quality. I think you guys can see how it is, but it looks even better in the screen itself. Uh, this is totally unexpected and similar to what I said earlier, is that I've been playing, I'm playing this game and I just don't want to stop. Okay, you, you guys can see my performance, how am I doing? There is virtually no lag in between. I am performing this as, as, as best as I can. Hey, we completed the level already. <laughs> Not too bad, okay, uh, just nice and I'm quite surprised that I was able to pull that off. First time ever, never died, you know guys, uh, playing this game on the arcade. 
is quite the coin muncher. Audio itself is pretty fantastic. I think we're going to wrap it up here and we'll go to our final thoughts next. One of the things that I think about the Rokit station itself and the Rokit Max glasses is I saw the prices on this, it's in excess of 489 US dollars. I might get it wrong, but it's around 400 US dollars just for these glasses itself. Quality of these glasses is incredible. Um, considering how light it is and the systems itself, I think this can go really far and it's something that I would love to see Rokit continually to develop it. For you guys, early adopters out there, this is actually a very good buy especially right now if you want to really give yourself an immersive screen right from the start straight away i really enjoyed my experience using it for the moment uh, for this period of time and i think that this device can be used for extended uh, lengths of time as well that's why rocket came out of the rocket station in the first place because there is really a lack of content if you do not let's say have a ROG Ally like we did or a phone I don't think using a phone or a laptop with this makes any sense at all but having this as a portable device makes a lot of sense especially if maybe you want to chill in bed or it's your own personal travel device it is something that uh, is worth considering for the long run and those are my thoughts about the Rokit Max and the Rokit Station simple device uh, Android TV plugs to the Rokit Max has a lot more potential if you plug it to other devices. With that said, uh, give us a like, share and comment in the comment section below if you have any thoughts about this device or if there are any questions, I can help you answer them. With that said, this is Gerald from Geek Culture and check out more of our videos over here.